want to talk about Modality, which took three years to make today's version. This is what Modality looks like on Samsung Gear S2, S3, and Galaxy Watch. And its operation is similar to Apple Watch, but different enough that I'm making two different tutorials. Layout. The first thing I want to talk about is the layout of the system. Four buttons. Simple. And the big revelation, which we are running a patent for, was that the letters are arranged by shape. Block A has straight lines with diagonals. Block B has a mixture of straight and curved lines. Block C has curved lines. And Block E has straight lines at 90 degree angles. Believe me, I went through hundreds of different letter arrangements. This arrangement seems to psychologically work really well. It's like a party game. And somehow, not only I, but others are now reporting to me that it is very easy to learn. I'll also mention that the letters within the blocks do come in alphabetical order so that A comes before K, comes before M, comes before N, and so on. I also believe that this works on a deeper psychological level, but that's just my intuition speaking, not necessarily real research. I'll also mention that the colors are intentional as well. It seems to me that these shapes go well with the colors that represent them. It's not just a Google or Microsoft ripoff. These colors really seem to work. Now, it may not be immediately obvious how to install Modality on the Samsung Watch, but it's just a couple steps and it's pretty easy. First, press the lower button and go to Settings. Then scroll down to General. Then choose Input. Then select the default input, which is the Samsung keyboard switch it to modality, then hit the back button or the top button and that will install modality. Then modality can be used in any app that calls for a keyboard. The basic operation is about 90% of the use. The basic operation is this. Tap a button and that button could represent any of the letters on that button. So if I want to write because, I'll start with the BDG JPR button for a B. It's important to see that I can get any of the letters on that button. So as I tap the more words button to see more words, I see a variety of words and letters. But I know I want B for because, so I keep that letter in mind. Then I look down for all the straight 90 degree letters for an E. Then the curvy letters for a C, and notice again that I have words that start with B or R or D. So that's B E C. And now A, then U, then S. And because shows up by then. But I could also press E to finish it off if I like. Then I select the word because. So that's the basic operation. And if that makes sense, it's probably 90% of knowing how to use modality stars and slashes. You might have noticed that some letters or words have stars and others have slashes. The star basically means that it will print that letter without a space. Sometimes you need just a single letter or a few letters in a row. Like say IDK. You can just get all of that right here. I D K now a slash puts those letters at the end of the previous word. This is a quick way to get word endings. So I want reading, which I happen to know is not in the default dictionary. So I go B, R, E, A, D, and select read. But then where there were more words, I can select I N G slash, which will become reading. More words, back one step, start over. Now, sometimes you don't see the word you need. I need ouch, but when I tap O, U, C, H, I get such, cost, cool, and soul. But by pressing more words, I can get ouch. But if a word is not in the list at all, say I want creel, C, R, E, O, L, E. 
not there. So just tap more words, then tap ABC. You'll see a letter by letter option to enter one letter at a time. And the letters are arranged in groups that are the same as the original buttons. It might seem a bit strange to have to go back and forth between screens for the different letters, but you do get used to it pretty quickly. And you can add C, R, E, O, L, E, and a space and then home to get back to the normal keyboard. Start over. On the watch, you can use the three stars to begin a word again. Or you can also go back one step if you make a simple mistake. So I want to write could, C-O-U-L-D, but I write C-O-U-L, and then I tap the green button again on accident. I can start over with the reset button and begin again, or I can just press back one step, then D, and then I select could. Numbers and emoji. Your numbers, punctuation, and emoji are here, under this button. It's got a simple to use number pad, basic punctuation, and a limited number of emoji. Then tap home to go back. Conclusion. So that's it for modality for Samsung Watch, and we want to hear more from you. Please do write us at support at joyfulmachines.com or reach out on Facebook. We'd love to hear your experiences and suggestions. Thanks for trying modality. Bye.